Good day and welcome to this channel. If you're seeking for a one-of-a-kind and amazing vacation experience, here are 5 secret African sites you should absolutely explore in 2023. These off-the-beaten-path destinations offer a sense of adventure and discovery, and will give you a chance to explore some of Africa's best-kept secrets. Number 1 on our list is Lamu Island, Kenya, a beautiful island with winding lanes and authentic Swahili architecture. Number 2 on the list is Victoria Falls, Zambia. Number 3 on our list is Sasasvle in Namibia. Fourth on our list is Bwindi Impenetrable Forest in Uganda. Last on the list is Lake Malawi. Starting with the Lamu Island which is a tiny island off Kenya's coast in East Africa. It is part of the Greater Lamu Archipelago, which includes additional islands such as Manda Island and Pate Island. Here are some Lamu Island facts and information. Lamu Island has a long history, with human occupancy reaching back to the 14th century. Several factions have dominated the island throughout the years, including the Portuguese, Omani Arabs, and the British. The island is now a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Lamu Island has a distinct culture that is influenced by Swahili, Arab, and Indian influences. Lamu's population is mostly Muslim, and the island is home to various mosques, notably the Lamu Fort Mosque which is one of the oldest mosques in East Africa. Lamu Island's architecture is likewise distinctive, with numerous structures built of coral stone and mangrove timber. The small alleys and lanes that are meant to keep the island cool and shaded are the island's most notable architectural feature. Swimming, snorkeling, and scuba diving are among the activities available to visitors to Lamu Island. There are also various historic attractions to visit on the island, including the Lamu Museum and the Lamu Fort. Lamu Island is home to a diverse range of animals, including sea turtles, dolphins, and several fish species. The island is also a popular site for bird lovers, since it is home to over 200 different kinds of birds. Visitors can move around on foot, bicycle, or donkey because cars are not permitted on Lamu Island. There are also numerous Dao boats on the island, which are classic sailing vessels that may be rented for transportation or a sunset cruise. Lamu Island has a tropical environment with mild temperatures all year. The wet season lasts from April to June, while the dry season lasts from July to September. Victoria the Falls which is second falls. on our list is one of the world's most beautiful natural marvels, located in southern Africa falls. on the boundary between the Zambia and Zimbabwe. Here's all you need to know about this incredible site. Victoria Falls is situated on the Zambezi River, which forms the border between Zambia and Zimbabwe. It is located in southern Africa and is accessible by plane, automobile, or train. The falls are more than 1,700 meters wide and more than 100 meters tall. History and culture, the native Tonga people, who have lived in the area for millennia, regard Victoria Falls as a holy spot. It's known as Muzi Oatunya, which translates as thundering smoke. The adventurer David Livingstone was the first European to observe the waterfall in 1855. There are several activities and attractions in and near Victoria Falls. One of the most popular is a helicopter or microlight flight above the falls, which offers breathtaking vistas. Bungee jumping, white water rafting, and boat rides on the Zambezi River are other options for visitors. Oh, there are also other national parks in the vicinity, including as Muzio Atunya and Zambezi, where tourists may observe elephants, lions, and other wildlife. The greatest time to see Victoria Falls is from February to May, when the water flow is at its peak and the falls are at their most beautiful. Unfortunately, the spray might make it difficult to observe the falls up close during this time from September to November. The water flow is lower and the falls are less dramatic from September to November, but the weather is drier and more pleasant. Accommodation and transportation. There are various hotels and lodges in the vicinity of Victoria Falls, ranging from affordable to luxury resorts. Both Zambia and Zimbabwe have airports, making it simple to access the falls. It is also feasible to cross the border between the two nations, albeit verify visa requirements first. Victoria Falls is a UNESCO World Heritage Site, and conservation efforts are underway to save the surrounding habitat. Concerns have been raised in recent years regarding the influence of tourism on the falls, and steps are being done to ensure that tourists may enjoy the location without causing harm. Next on the list is Sasasvle. Sasasvle is a salt and clay pan in Namibia's Namib Naukluft National Park. It is one of the most popular tourist locations in the country, famous for its towering red sand dunes that may reach 300 meters in height. Here are some Sasasvle facts and information. Sasasvle is located in the southern Namib Desert, approximately 360 kilometers south of Windhoek, Namibia's capital city. Geology, the red sand dunes of Sasasvle are among the world's highest, having evolved over millions of years. The dunes are comprised of sand that has been blown from the Atlantic Ocean and deposited along the shore by the wind. The major draw of Sasasvle is its sand dunes, which are best observed at sunrise or sunset. Dune 45, the most well-known dune in the area, is a popular climbing and photographic location. The Dead Flay, a white clay pan surrounded by towering red sand dunes, is another feature, 
as is the Sisriem Canyon, a steep ravine formed by the Joshab River. Activities Visitors to Sasasvle may participate in a variety of activities such as guided dunes excursions, hot air balloon flights, hiking, and nature walks. Camping is also available in the region, albeit amenities are limited. Climate Sasasvle has a desert climate, with minimal rain throughout the year. Temperatures can vary dramatically, with scorching days and chilly nights. From April through October, when the weather is milder and drier, is the greatest time to visit. Sasasvle is part of the Namib Naukluft National Park, which is one of Africa's biggest conservation areas. Plant and animal species found in the park include oryx, springbok, and ostriches. Overall, Sasasvle is a breathtaking natural wonder that is a must-see for anybody visiting Namibia. Its towering red sand dunes and exotic sceneries are guaranteed to captivate tourists. Followed by Bwindi Impenetrable Forest National Park which is a UNESCO World Heritage Site located in southern Uganda. The park has an area of roughly 331 square kilometers and is one of Africa's most biodiverse places. Here are some interesting facts about the Bwindi Impenetrable Forest. Bwindi Impenetrable Forest is home to approximately 120 species of animals, including endangered mountain gorillas, chimps, forest elephants, and different antelope species. There are also around 350 bird species, 200 butterfly species, and over 100 fern species in the park. Mountain gorillas, with an estimated population of 400, Bwindi is home to approximately half of the world's surviving mountain gorillas. The most popular activity in the park is gorilla trekking, which allows tourists to get up close and personal with these gorgeous creatures in their natural environment. Forest trails, the park has a number of hiking routes ranging from short walks to multi-day expeditions. The pathways allow visitors to experience the forest's unique vegetation and animals. Conservation The Bwindi Impenetrable Forest is a success story in conservation. The mountain gorilla population was on the verge of extinction in the 1980s owing to poaching and habitat destruction. Conservation efforts, on the other hand, have resulted in a rise in the gorilla population, and the park is now a model for sustainable ecotourism. Cultural experience The Batwa Pygmies one of Africa's oldest indigenous cultures, live in the park. Visitors may learn about the traditional way of life of the Batwa and take part in cultural events such as dance performances and handicraft workshops. Accessibility The park is accessible by road from several major Ugandan cities, including Kampala and Kabale. There are also regular flights to Kasoro, a neighboring town. Ultimately, Bwindi Impenetrable Forest is a must-see for anybody interested in Ugandan wildlife, conservation, and cultural experiences. Last on the list is Lake Malawi, also known as Lake Nyasa, is a major freshwater lake in southeastern Africa that is shared by Malawi, Tanzania, and Mozambique. It is Africa's third largest lake and the world's ninth largest. The lake covers around 29,600 square kilometers, 11,400 square miles, and has a maximum depth of 706 meters, 2,316 feet. It is also one of the world's deepest lakes. Lake Malawi serves as a vital supply of freshwater for the surrounding populations and is home to a varied ecology of fish and other aquatic creatures. The lake is home to approximately 1,000 different kinds of fish, many of which are unique to the globe. Colorful cichlid fish, which are popular among aquarium aficionados, are among them. The lake has a long and complicated history, with traces of human occupancy reaching back more than 10,000 years. The British originally occupied the region around the lake in the late 1800s, and it became a British protectorate in 1891. Since Malawi's independence in 1964, the lake has been an essential aspect of the country's economy and culture. Lake Malawi is becoming a famous tourist attraction, with tourists flocking to the lake to enjoy its gorgeous beaches, clean seas, and distinctive animals. The lake also provides food and revenue to the nearby villages, as fishing is a major activity in the area. Overfishing and pollution, on the other hand, have become serious challenges in recent years, harming the ecosystem. For creative content like this kindly subscribe and share to support this channel for more videos and don't forget to turn on your notification button to keep you updated anytime we drop another video. We have other interesting videos you like to watch from our previous videos, thank you.